Hello, I'm Mathieu from Mujavox and today I'm going to give you an overview of Little Big Fish. So this is a tactical game for two players ages 8 and up and it plays for around 15 minutes. In this game you're going to have a family of fish, a school of fish, and you want to eat the other fish. So uh, basically you win by eating five fish of the opposing team. And you may notice that the fish may be small, medium or big. And this is important because big fish cannot be eaten by smaller fish. So for example, the medium fish can eat only medium and small fish and the small fish, well, they can only eat small fish. That's a problem. So basically, uh, we are going to set up the board with some fish uh, at the beginning and um, to play, we're going to move fish around. Uh, you have either two moves of one square, like so, for example, or you may move one fish by two squares, like so, or like so. So this is basically the flow of the game. And you may notice that the boards are um, have special spaces on them. First, you have plankton. Plankton enables you to get bigger because you eat plankton. So if you get into a plankton square, you're going to uh, spend the plankton if uh, not already done. And if you may spend this, if you do, you're going to make your fish bigger. So if you were level 1, you become medium. If you were already medium, you become big. And this is important for the fish you are able to eat with this one. But it's also important for shipwrecks. Um, shipwrecks are obstacles for big fish and medium fish. That means that you cannot go through them, you cannot step on them. So basically, um, shipwrecks are obstacles except if you are very small. If you're small, you can glide into them and get extra moves. So for example, for one move, I could do one, two, three. I could do three squares of moving. And uh, this one is a birth, uh, a birth square. Basically, you just get uh, a new fish on that uh, board path. And finally, you have the mystery, uh, uh, the mystery tiles. If you go on a mystery tile, you're going to draw one. And they give you bonuses and another birth, plankton that makes you bigger, or more special effects. You can rotate the boards or you have a fisherman. And the fisherman is going to fish uh, the fish that was there. And if there was an opponent, the opponent gets fished too. So this is uh, really bothersome if you lose a big fish, for example. So that's the basic flow of the game, and the game ends two ways. Either you have collected five trophies of opponent's fish, or the opponent has only one remaining fish on the entire board, and that's the end of the game for him. Well then, you know almost everything there is to know about Little Bit Fish, so bye-bye, and see you on the box.